Hello and congratulations on the purchase of your Powerhall 3 air intake emergency shutoff valve by Packbrake. My name is Paul and today I will be showing you how to program and test the trip speed of your system as well as introduce you to some of the other functions available to you. For the PH3, the programming and testing is all done from within the vehicle cab where the switch panel is mounted and the operator has access to the accelerator pedal. Now before we begin to program, it is important to identify the safety shutoff speed or the trip speed for your vehicle. With that in mind, we can proceed. When the PH3 system is first installed, you will see that the switch panel exhibits an alternating flashing of the red and green lights. This indicates that the system is unprogrammed and it requires a programmed trip speed. The first step in programming the trip speed is to start your engine. With the engine started, the next step is to press and hold the reset and test buttons for approximately 5 seconds until you see that the lights begin to flash simultaneously. Once the lights begin to flash simultaneously as shown, you are to release the buttons. The system is now monitoring your current engine speed. Now is the time to raise the engine speed to approximately half of your required trip value and keep it constant there. With the engine speed held at that speed, press the reset button four times. The red light will flash back at you four times to indicate that the system confirms your input and that the system has been programmed correctly. With the engine running at idle, the green light will now flash every five seconds to indicate that the system is active and it is monitoring engine speed. You have successfully programmed your system. Testing of the system is important to ensure that the trip speed is programmed correctly. Testing is done by entering test mode using the switch panel within the operator's cab. While in test mode, the system will actually trip at half of the previously programmed trip speed. This is to ensure that the operator does not have to raise his engine speed to an unsafe and dangerous level. The first step in testing is to start your engine. With the engine started, you can now press and hold the reset and test buttons simultaneously for approximately five seconds. Once the two lights begin to flash simultaneously, you press and release the test button once. Doing so will cause the green light on the switch panel to flash rapidly. Once this happens, raise your engine speed to half of your trip value and your valve should trip. Once the valve trips and your engine shuts down, the red light on your switch panel will illuminate to indicate that the valve is closed. After 30 seconds, the valve will automatically reset itself and the red light will extinguish. This indicates that your engine is safe to restart. If your valve did not trip or your engine did not shut down, it is time to ensure that your installation was followed correctly and that you programmed your system correctly. By default, your PH3 system will automatically reset itself to the open position 30 seconds after tripping. New CSA standards require that certain fuel carrying vehicles have shut off systems that remain closed until instructed to reopen by the operator. In order to achieve compliance with this standard, we must change the settings. The first step in changing the settings is to press and hold the reset and test buttons together for approximately five seconds. You may release the buttons once the lights begin to flash simultaneously as shown here. Pressing and releasing the reset and test buttons twice will change the setting that we need. The lights will flash back at you twice to confirm your input and your setting has been changed. We can test the setting by pressing the trip button once. The red light will become illuminated to show that the valve is closed and once the system detects that there is no engine speed present, the red light will begin to flash rapidly to indicate that user input is needed. Otherwise it will remain closed indefinitely. Pressing the reset button will reset the valve to the open position. PH3 systems are capable of shutting the engine down at a secondary set point or trip speed. This is useful in cases where the vehicle is equipped with a power takeoff system for powering auxiliary equipment or as an anti-theft mechanism when that secondary set point is set just above your idle speed. You can activate your secondary set point by grounding the purple wire from your wiring harness. Programming and testing of that secondary set point is done just as previously shown with that purple wire connected to a suitable grounding point. When the secondary set point is active, the green light on the switch panel will flash twice every five seconds to indicate this.